But let me turn off that air conditioner and let's turn off the car as well. That might be a bit annoying. Pretty hot here. Okay, yeah, so 2019 Volkswagen Amarok Adventura. We're diagnosing the 12 volt fuse and cigarette lighter fuse. Uh, those ports are not working. They're situated each side of your gear change lever in the automatic. I don't think they come in manual, do they? And yeah, so I've been unable to use, I don't use the cigarette lighter, but I do use the 12 volt auxiliary port for my fast phone charger. And it's been a bit annoying. Luckily, there's a spare one up on top of the dash, which I use for my dash cam. It's it's got a USB port on the end of that as well, so that I can still use my dash cam and charge the phone there. And I've got the CarPlay USB port down below. Uh, so it hasn't been a huge drama. I just haven't been able to fast charge my phone this last week. Um, I've checked all the fuses in the main fuse box. There's none blown there, and it's got me stumped where this auxiliary power fuse is. Uh, but I've done some research, I've checked online, I've only found one forum that mentions that it's behind the steering column on one of the sides. Apparently that bit of trim comes off, so we'll go and have a look at that and see if we can locate the fuse. And just an update on that info, I've had my mate Steve from Motive Mechanical on the Gold Coast. He's sent me a few messages trying to locate this fuse box and he's told me to definitely check under that trim and he sent me a little diagram to tell me what fuse it is but there's only a few fuses behind that one so we'll go behind there and see if he's correct. All right, let's get into it. Where do we start? So this is the uh, dash cam port on top of your dash here that I've been using. Um, there's a USB port on the end there. I oh, know they come with about 5,000 meters of cable. A bit of annoying but that's got me by so these are the ports in question that are not working this little fast charger here from gecko awesome little piece of kit got a usb c and a usb a i think what do they call that usb three maybe two or three and they both do fast fast charging so that port's not working there that's your 12 volt auxiliary i think it does 120 watts of power and this cigarette lighter port over here push that down didn't pop up so I knew that these two ports were possibly combined and somewhere up in here we've got our we've got our CarPlay port in here that charges as well so we've got some backup options which is good let's try and find out what's wrong with these so coming down under your dashboard you'll find a very handy fuse box at the moment you can just see the fuses sticking out there but pull these red tabs as so and the fuse box will just flick down. You've got full access to the fuses. I've pulled out quite a few of these fuses and I've also had the multimeter stuck on those as well. Cannot find any fuses that are blown. So that rules out this fuse box. So let's pop that back up there. Now, apparently we have another fuse box behind this panel that sits around your steering column. So the first thing we're going to do is pull down the lever to your steering column adjuster. Make sure that's down. These should just pull out from the side. Grab around here and just pull. They've got some clips up there. And the same on this side, just grab this side here. And there we go. And what do you know, I can see already a sneaky fuse box right there. Now apparently it's one of the top fuses. Could be a 30 or 20 amp, but it looks like we've only got a 20 amp fuse. So down below on our main fuse box, there is a fuse puller. If you want to grab that out, you can use that to pull the fuses out. Um, this side is for your little mini fuses and the other side's for your large traditional fuses. So pop up here to the upper fuse box and I reckon you can test these with a multimeter but I reckon we'll just rip out the first one and see. Here we go. So that's our, so that's our first fuse and it looks pretty shot. Let's get a focus there, come on. So yeah, that fuse is definitely shot. Check that out, you can see right through it. There should be a little join in there. Let's pull out a good one and I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. So that's what your fuse is supposed to look like. See that little uh, V shape in there? That's what your fuse is supposed to look like. Got a little connection inside there. So we'll pop this one back in. See, it's actually easier without the tool. Now, let's grab, I've got a new packet of fuses right here. So we need to match that 20 amps. Let's pop this one out one-handed. Don't lose those other fuses. Keep those for spares. So we've got another brand new fuse. It's got a little V-shape. If it wants to focus, V-shape there. Let's pop him in. 
the number one, two, three, four, five, number five down. We've got a little spark there. And what do you know, we've got a little LED light now in our auxiliary phone charger, if it wants to focus. Look at that. And we've got some smoke coming from our cigarette lighter. She's just popped open. Oh, fixed. So yes, that little fuse box hidden behind there is the bane of all of your issues. And yes, it's a 20 amp fuse. That's what you need to get. You can actually get these from any auto store, super cheap. Even Bunnings, I think, sells these now. Um, and that's it. And I'm sure you can keep a few spares up in there, which I might do now. Oh, I've got this 10 amp fuse. Let's see if it fits up in there. It's a little bit loose. I probably wouldn't store your spare fuses there. They come out quite easily. But keep them in the glove box. So there you have it hidden fuse box in the Volkswagen Amarok. Uh, this is from, I'd say 2017 or 18 onwards. Behind that model, it could be the same. Check yours out. Just rip that panel off or around the steering column. And generally it will be that first one there for your auxiliary power output. Let's put the uh, panel back on. We'll just pop those fuse tweezers back in shortly. So this just pushes in. There's some clips here here and here. These correspond with those plastic clips here. So just push them in like so. They clip in very easy and go across to the other side. Now that's actually my Red Arc trailer brake control. There's a clip here and here which corresponds to these two plastic lugs here. Let's give them a push in, make sure that cable is out of the way. And just simply click it into place. Don't forget to adjust your steering column to where you feel comfortable and lock that back in with this lever here as well. All right, beauty. Fuse all fixed, it's still working. Let's grab the phone charging cable and let's see if we've got some charge. I've got no idea why that blue. Let's unplug my mic from the phone here. Get out of there. And plug in the charger. And I think we've got charging, it's still lit up. I assume it's charging, I can't see while I'm recording. Yep, that's charging, good. So yeah, all charging, all fixed. And so yeah, if you can at least like this video and leave a comment below, that would be fantastic. And if you wanna subscribe, I'll be posting more random car tips, tools. Eventually I'll be doing some awesome review stuff on some stuff I've got around the workshop and home. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks heaps, beauty. And as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Leave a comment below. That would help my channel grow. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. Beauty.